Welcome to Chapel Escape. My name is Anna and I'm going to show you how to set up and run this activity. Chapel Escape is an escape room designed to challenge participants' creative thinking, puzzle solving abilities and communication. The escape room is made up of three stages. Participants must complete stage one before moving on to stage two and so on. To set up the chapel, you follow the order of stages. A green folder will be given to your group and in it will be the breakdown of all the stages. Setting up stage one includes clue one, six pieces of Noah's letter, Noah's toolbox, a four digit combination lock labeled blue, the good news Bible, a black light torch, a cipher, clue two, and a no entry sign. Clue one you will hand to the participants during your brief and you must place the do not enter sign on the door at the top of the stairs inside the chapel. There are six pieces to Noah's letter. Each piece has been labeled through one to six and has a designated spot in the chapel. Piece one fits underneath the cross on the altar. Piece two, lay on the keys of the organ and close the lid. Piece three slips into one of the pillows on the pews. Make sure the top of it sticks out. Piece four, blue tack behind one of the picture frames closest to the main door. Piece five, you may place on any pew. Piece six, you may place underneath any pew. Place the Good News Bible on the podium and open it up to something random. Put the black light torch, the cipher, and clue two inside the toolbox labeled Noah. The code for the lock is 2213. Lock the toolbox and make sure there are four zeros on it. Stage two is the longest stage. It is broken into two parts. Stage 2A includes nine named items, a pin board with nine portraits, a second toolbox, a puzzle board, four puzzle pieces, a mini chest, and a four digit combination lock with red paint. Lay the following nine objects on any of the pews. They should be labeled with one name and number. Toolbox, Noah 1, Staff Stick, Moses 2, Chains, Paul 3, Black Netting, Andrew 4, Apple, Eve 5, Tiara, Esther 6, Poncho, Joseph 7, Scissors, Delilah 8, Slingshot, David 9. Place the pin board with the nine portraits on the wall to the right of the organ and follow the tape lines to guide you. The four puzzle pieces sit inside the mini chest. Lock the mini chest with the key tied to the yellow ribbon. Put the puzzle board and the mini chest inside the second toolbox. Lock the toolbox using the combination lock with red paint. The combination is 2610. To make sure the toolbox is locked, turn all the numbers to zero. Stage 2B includes clue 3, clue 4, the hymn book, the key tied to the yellow ribbon, the magnet, and a combination lock with yellow paint. Place clue 3 inside the fourth drawer and clue 4 inside the hymn book. Make sure the tip of it sticks out. The hymn book sits inside the shelf behind the organ. Put the magnet and the key with the yellow ribbon inside the third drawer and lock the drawer using the combination lock with the yellow paint. The combination is 1436. To make sure it's locked, turn all the numbers to zero. Stage three includes the puzzle box, the maze key, the chapel key, a gold padlock, and a four digit combination lock with green paint. Open the puzzle box and place the maze key inside. The puzzle box goes inside the second drawer. Lock the drawer using the combination lock with green paint. The code is 4325. Inside the first drawer is a maze. Slip the chapel key inside the small hole on the drawer and lock it using the gold padlock. Now that you've set up, meet with your group outside the chapel and brief them. The aim for the group is to find the hidden chapel key and unlock the door as quickly as possible without exceeding the time limit of 40 minutes. The group must solve the clues, find hints and unlock items. Everything can be solved, so please make sure that no one forces anything open. There is a fire exit door and an altar at the top of the stairs inside the chapel. Let them know that everything inside the altar is out of bounds and the fire exit door is unlocked in case of any emergency. Once you've explained the aim, hand out the first clue and the mini clipboard and pen to the group. Go into the chapel and lock the main door behind you. Remember, if you need help with anything, the Arancha team are here to help. Thank you for watching and have a great time.